Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series called Pikmin! I've been waiting to play this game actually a lot longer than uh, when you guys chose in the community section of the channel. Um, this game brings a lot of memories to me. It's another one of those games that I played as a kid. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't realize that it was really fast when it did that, so I'm gonna press start. But I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am because it is such a good game and I love it so much. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game and there's gonna be a cutscene. So once we dive in, I'll be quiet for it. But hope you guys are excited as excited as I am to start a new Let's Play. Let's let's dive in. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on a surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then... No! Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Well, looks like we're in a predicament, guys, where we are stranded on this planet. Unfortunately. So, we're gonna have to find our parts, at least as many as we can, in order for us to get back into space and leave this dreaded planet of poisonous oxygen. But look at that. Look at our ship. Ugh, oh, it's completely ruined. Alright, well, this calls for exploring, but we are in day one. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Pikmin, as you saw, we have to pretty much repair our ship as fast as we can, because I won't spoil it, but in a little bit we'll learn why we have to be fast. But um, if you aren't familiar with this, we definitely have to repair a ship as fast as we can, and we have the help of some buddies along the way, which we'll probably come across here very shortly. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, and a seed came out. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion, too. An onion? Look at this. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, it's sprouting. Look at that. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light, and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Alright, let's do it. 
Oh my gosh, look at him, he's so cute. This is one of the buddies I was talking about. <laughs> Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. It shaped it... Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm. Perhaps it will react to C and X as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. L to rotate camera, hold to follow the cursor, R to zoom in and out, Z change angle. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. All right. All right, there we go. That's zooming out. Okay, cool. I figured it out. So I can actually see where I'm going. So let me throw this guy. And then I'll call him back. Just like that. Oh, okay, cool. Hello. And now we'll send him on an attack spree with this flower. And because Pikmin like to carry things and send them back to their ship or our ship. Look at that! Oh, it sprouted two. Two more. Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be sort of a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Alright, and we'll get this one too, so that way we can get more. Because we love it. Carry that. And I can use the right control stick to guide them around. Or I guess in this case, if you're on a GameCube controller, C-Stick, I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller, so... It's gonna be a little different for me, but... You can guide them around, line them up like this. It's really cool. And the same goes for the other games, too, because pretty much it's, this is like, if you played the first game, you'll kind of get the gist of the second game, although different story, still kind of the same controls overall. So, there we go, we have more of them. And look at this over here. We have a five, which I believe we're going to need at least five to carry this back to the ship. Yes. Which we have five of them, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have five. There we go. So they'll carry that back to their ship, and that'll mean that we'll get even more red pigment. So this'll be quite interesting. And so this part of the game is just going to be a tutorial part, obviously, because we're trying to learn the controls, we're trying to learn what's going on, why, you know, why we're stranded, and, you know, learning about Pikmin since this is our first encounter with them, trying to study them, and all kinds of sort of things. So this this episode would be more of a kind of a tutorial beginning beginning episode of the tutorial and you know just like with all games when we start with the first episode kind of learning the ropes of the game and learning the story of it as well and if i spam x actually or a it prioritizes more of the plants that are there instead of me having to do one at a time so it's a bit easier that way all right and we're gonna get as many as we can because as you can see over here it looks like there's a box and this box needs 10 pikmin in order to push it but the more pikmin we have the easier it will be to push this thing and clearly when it shows one out of one for the pellets or five out of five that doesn't mean that you can just only have five carry them you can have double the amount of pikmin to carry them so for the one over one you can have two over one and for the five pellet, you could have uh, ten of them. Five over ten. So, like a fraction, pretty much. <laughs> it, it's, it reminds me of fractions for some reason, so, yeah. Alright, but we have enough Pikmin now, so we can use this to push the box. All except for one. <laughs> one just decides to stare at me. And look, that also creates a, a bridge for us to get across to get more pellets. Look at that. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. 
I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts, press A to grab Pikmin, release to throw, press B to call them, X to dismiss, use C to command and control the group, L, R, and Z control perspective. I shall record all of this in my computer. I can press Y to access the computer. Yep, which is this. So, the impact site, how many Pikmin we have currently, how many are in the onion, uh, how many Pikmin are free currently, and the 0 out of 30 on the bottom left, that has to do with how many ship parts there are. And there are 30 ship parts total. So, and then here's the controls here. But that's for GameCube controller. It's obviously not going to show PlayStation controller. Alright, so we see this over here, but what I want to do is I want to get more pellets first. So, as you can see, yeah, you can see two of them being carried. And I'll select one each for these guys, and I can throw them over the ledge. And if they're close enough, they'll get attracted to it. There we go. And then the rest of them can pick up this one. And the more Pikmin that are carrying an object, the faster they move it to the onion or the ship, respectively. So, yeah. Which, I guess while they're carrying that, we can come across this thing. Amazing! There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how will I get it back to the dolphin? Oh, that's easy. I mean, we just use our Pikmin. We use our Pikmin to bring it back, and it's gonna need a lot because it's a heavy pe piece of machinery. One of the little features I like about this game, too, is that when your Pikmin is free, they turn a gray or white hue to indicate that they're not in your party, that they haven't been called back to you. So, and in day one, we want to use utilize this day as best we can by getting as many Pikmin as possible, because it's going to be very important later on. And things are going to get a little crazier as we go, so... Don't think that day one is just a walk in the park. When it when it is, it's not going to be later on. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Oh, that's what I was just talking about too, which is funny. Alright, so if we just repeatedly tap A, or in my case, X, uh, we will continuously just pick up Pikmin from the ground that have fully sprouted. And there we go! Alright, so I think that's as many Pikmin that we can get today, 23, because it looks like that there's nothing else here. And it doesn't hurt to really explore the area first, because... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, here we go. I think 20... We can get 25. 25 Pikmin, and I think that's everything, unless there's another one up here? No, okay. So there's nothing there. Alright, so it looks like we can only get 25 Pikmin for today, which is fine. Which is good enough, really, for what we need to do. And I'm going to pick up these Pikmin, and then we're going to go to the engine that we're going to need. Which is the very first part that you get in the game, which is going to vastly already improve our ship. Even though we need more parts, it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be very beneficial to us. Because at least we'll be able to run the ship instead of having it, you know, in the ground all destroyed the way it is. But here we go. Yeah, it needs 20 Pikmin, but we could always have more of them. Dolphin's main engine. It was pure luck that I found this piece first. With this, I can at least lift off. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so they're going to carry this over. And as you can see, the spaces in between the Pikmin means that we could still have more Pikmin to carry this. It's just, for this day, we can only have up to 25. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series already with the first episode. I know, like I said, with the first episode, it's kind of slowish, you know, with the 
with the way that you know tutorials go and trying to figure out everything in the game but if you guys are playing along this will definitely help you out a lot and i really do hope you do enjoy this as well and I'm, I'm so excited for this series it's going to be a lot of fun and i hope you guys are going to have a lot of fun watching it as well so here we go here we go yay our ship did a flip and now we have the engine Oh, hey, and the ship kind of repaired itself a little bit, too. Not so good as new, but at least we can take off. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I have taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. Yep, and it automatically takes us to nighttime. And the Pikmin retreat back to their onion for the night. And we retreat back to our ship and take off for the next day. Oh, looks like the onion's taken off too. One day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for another for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hakatate. Analysis shows life support systems will func function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below, as it holds the keys to my survival. I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. And here's our score. We can see a graph here. Uh, Pikmin, the population, today's change in Pikmin population, and how many have sprouted, lost in battle, left behind. And yes, lost in battle. There will be fighting in this game, and it's going to be hopefully not brutal. <laughs> We'll see what happens, but we're going to save the game. And that leaves day one completed. Look at that. The Forest of Hope. Look at this overworld, which there's going to be more areas to explore. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. If you guys did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like if you haven't already. I hope you guys are enjoying the first episode already of this brand new series as much as I am. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well because that lets me know that you guys enjoy the content on the channel and would like to see more. I've been Savvy, and I'll see you guys in the Forest of Hope in the next one. Bye guys! See you later.